large language models, artificial intelligence, GPUs. What does it all mean? I don't know. But what I do know is for the past few years, I've been working on a home lab, which centers around my Kubernetes cluster running most of my workloads. The largest server in the cluster is a Dell PowerEdge, and I want to stick a GPU in it. Why, you might ask? Well, I have three different use cases. The first one's Olama. It makes running LLMs easy. Olama? He's supposed to be dead! Second is Jellyfin, which is a video streaming platform. Lastly, I'm going to run VMs and Kubernetes with GPU acceleration. With Olama, you can pull and customize models in a Docker file-like format and serve them on one easy-to-use API. There's a project called OpenWebUI, which puts a nice interface in front of Olama. And after fixing one of their dumb typos and a pull request later, I used their chart to install both the UI and Olama into the cluster. One of the best use cases for LLMs is education. So I wanted to educate myself on how to make meth. So first, let's try ChatGPT. Oh. Let's try Llama 2 Uncensored on my own instance. And I'll give it a prompt it can't refuse. Just running LLMs on the CPU alone is a pretty bad idea and it took two minutes to get back with me. So if I'm gonna become a pro prompter, I better get a GPU. There's not much room for a GPU, but some other people online found some creative solutions. One idea is to cut a hole in the lid for airflow and just use the power from the PCI Express lane with a super small GPU. Another option for running bigger GPUs is just to keep it external. Use a riser cable and an external power supply and just run it on a stand. This looks pretty terrible. My first instinct was to go with the external setup with the external power stand, and it looks super questionable, but I know it'd run well. Another option is just to get a GPU met for a server. The NVIDIA Tesla P100 is end of life, so it's no longer officially supported, but it's a super popular option for home labs due to the amount of memory you can get cheap. The main downside is that it's cooled by the airflow running through the server, so it doesn't have its own fan. This is a problem because it doesn't fit in my power edge. A lot of people are just strapping blower motors to the back of the GPU to pump air through it. However, this gets pretty loud. Although the Tesla P4 only has half the memory, it has 60% of the performance of the P100 according to Tech Power Up, and it's just drawing a max of 75 watts from the PCI3 slot. Best part is, it'll fit in my power edge, and it needs no external power supply, so it's the one I ended up going with. While waiting for the GPU to ship from China, I started a Golang program to test out the different models with and without the GPU, and this would all run against the Olama API. I got a generic list of questions and I'm going to run each model through all the questions twice and average the results. With the GPU finally arriving, I'm very curious to see if it actually works in my power edge. The first problem with the installation is there's a plastic piece right here which obstructs where it needs to sit. After taking the riser out, I could simply just unscrew that plastic piece and take it off. This plastic piece comes right off as I put the original riser in and I need to get that back plate out. So I'm going to temporarily remove this to get the GPU in. The GPU is looking pretty dandy here, but I've got to install some NVIDIA drivers and then the Cades device plugin to make it work on Kubernetes. Then I can just request GPUs like I would request CPU or memory. On top of that, someone built an NVIDIA exporter I can also run in the cluster with a Grafana dashboard. With metrics in the GPU exposed in the cluster, I picked out some models I'd like to test. During the run, the GPU only used 60 of the 75 watts and was 95% utilized. I ran the program twice, once with just the CPU and another time with the GPU. It actually took a little longer to load each model into memory with the GPU. The loading time was well worth it because it only took the GPU 15% of the time to do each query. The CPU tests took over an hour while the GPU ones just took eight minutes. Jellyfin, which is a lot like Plex, also runs in my cluster. To get it working with hardware acceleration, I went back and forth with the documentation for a bit, but eventually got it working. And next time you're totally not pirating a movie, it'll run smoother and faster on all your devices. Instead of piracy, only download free videos like this video of a puffin. I might study to become a puffinologist. I also put this container in my cluster to act a lot like a VM with persistent storage to recognize the GPU. However, I must admit, 
I haven't actually got any games working on it. In conclusion, this is a great value for $100, and I can see myself getting more of them in the future. 